guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tabisa Skade if you are new to the channel welcome to our little family and thank you so much for joining us and if you are a regular thank you so much for your continuous support and thank you for always coming back i look so weird but it's chilled okay guys so today i'm back with a q and a um my friend's cousin ne? yeah compiled a few questions for me to answer so thank you so much get amana cc so i'll be answering those and then yeah i hope you enjoy i will be sipping on something guys this is the new thingy brutal fruit it's so nice that's very nice go to it too Let us get into it. Hmm. I'll be reading my questions from here because I'm obviously using my phone to record. So first question is, are you single? Well, according to home affairs, I'm very much, <laughs> I'm very much single uh question two are you dating or interested in someone yes i am dating uh interested in the same person masicho <laughs> then question three how are you um let me just say i can't complain like i can't complain um also let's just say i'm okay like i'm surviving so how are you physically physically i'm always exhausted mentally mentally like i have my days i have my days like uh sometimes i just have to like talk to myself like pull myself towards myself because and socially socially um i'm okay i could say i'm okay um question four have you ever met a famous person have i no not that i can think of no if yes how was your reaction so no i can't can't think of anyone i i don't think i have uh question five have you ever broken the law I don't know if it's breaking the law. No, I've never broken the law, obviously. Yo, I can't even say that here. Kalonza was bambis. But there was a time ne, when I was unemployed and I was back in the Eastern Cape. So I had to have proof that I was coming here for something and whatever. So I sought off a friend of mine who works in construction had this thing for me that I had to go show the police, not me going to lie to the police. I had to show this thing to the police for me to travel into another province so I could fetch my degree and whatever and things as I was getting employed in the Eastern Cape. It's not breaking the law like I was doing it for the good, but again, I sort of lied to the police. <laughs> Lied to the police. It's not breaking law. No. Uh, a girl had to do what a girl had to do. Uh, question six. No friends or toxic friends. Like, why must we be friends if they are toxic? Why? Rather no friends, cause I like peace, guys. Like I would do anything to keep the peace going, cause well, I cannot deal with the anxiety. Can't deal with the snacks. Question seven: Do you believe in love at first sight? I probably did, but after being dribbled and things, probably not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I change, I change every every minute. There's a new me, so with growth, obviously. So 
I don't know. Excuse me. Favorite secret beauty trick and deny. <laughs> like Keza Ubangi name Tasi. And that is that. Shamba Ubepa. Question nine. Do you have a pet? Not where I reside, but back home, yes. Um, we have a dog. We had two, ne? but then a poison passed on. A poison passed on last year. So now we have a oh boy. Good time, oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, back home, I do. We do. Question 10, weaknesses and strengths. Um, my weakness, what is my weakness? I don't know. I think I'm too kind sometimes even when I shouldn't be. Yeah. Uh, and then my strength is that I will always bounce back. Me, I will, yo, resilience, okay? Ah. I but I go, I go more go tanda kwam. I always bounce back, like I will go through it. But best believe, this will be like Like in the core, depending on where, and that is my strength. Question eleven: Would you continue with your career if your social media took off big time? Hmm. With how I feel mostly when I'm at work, the type of environment with all the you know, I think means means just not that okay, I love what I do, right, but then there are other factors that make the job sort of not really nice game or being there due to these other factors otherwise. Had it been that the uh, variety, the working environment was healthy, no, 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 I would carry on with my job to be in a social media. Mm, yeah. Uh, question 12. How do you deal with jealous friends or colleagues? Um, I've never had to deal with a jealous friend. Not that I know of, at least. Uh, a jealous colleague no i i'm never like not that i know of like i've never like had to deal with these uh anyway i wouldn't deal i would let them be sana because yeah, I can't get it in. question 13 weird food combo you like there is no weird food combo i like There isn't. I can't think of anything. Wait, is is bread and milk weird? Like thousands and thousands of people. Like sometimes can't carry them people. This company is open and people. So by song and the carry be I don't know if that is weird, but okay, I like that. Question fourteen: Are you religious? Yes, I am. I believe in God. Yo, oh, there is a God in heaven. There's God in myself. There's God in this room. There is God in my space, literally everywhere I go. Because um many things might have happened in my life and then as in solve come on. Sia solve and I don't know how, yeah. Well, so there's definitely God, okay space um, so yes i am religious question 15 do you have regrets no one thing excuse me one thing about my life whatever happens whatever happens whether good or bad i always like get to learn i get to learn and i grow I grow from like whatever experience that I get to experience. So I do not have any regrets. Why is it, why is it dark? Okay. So no, I don't have any regrets. 
whatever happened was meant for me to either learn or grow from it to whatever um what keeps you going on a daily basis this is question 16. what keeps me going on a daily basis is prayer like when i'm still lying down in bed in the morning like i will pray good to god lena i mean and at night before i sleep or when i come like he i don't even have to kneel down to pray like he sometimes i just went to god but god abc don't know my son <sighs> things like that table you know? and then when i leave the house obviously i must report to god because i might i might not come back you never know so i think prayer keeps me going it really does because sometimes you feel weird like i don't know if other people experience those things but sometimes you'll feel like hey uh, uh, son, uh, you're done with life you feel like uh, 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 so when i have such feelings and i don't know what's going on with me i pray to god i within weeks or so so yeah very important to pray question 17 which is the last one does your job affect your mental health it does it does a lot so i am a pn ne? professional nurse i am currently working at a reproductive clinic right so fine people will be coming in for their family planning and whatnot but sometimes they will see unesi and then see a person they could confide in right like um where i can like where i can like see and journey and things like that i will call people i will do this that and whatever but whatever they share like i will take it home uh, and then he is okay and um work can work besides work work is stressful like stressful it shouldn't be trust me it should not be but again the workplace we are short staffed we are this we are that you have to do over and above and beyond to serve the people and that is what we are there to do but it does affect me mentally shame hi it does foot of neck again easy bukele therapy also which are staying alone staying alone like makes you think a lot do i think a lot i'm always on social media and you know Yes, I do sometimes think the thing is on those arms like dollars in Kataza. If they are in Kataza, I will cry and then I will move on from that. But Kutra staying alone, like, I'm going to always be on a so cool. But yeah, I enjoyed answering these questions. Thank you, Amana. I almost said Amani. <laughs> Thank you, Amana, for the questions. Um, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I hope to see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And then you subscribe, guys. Pretty please. You don't you don't even have to watch or go go. You can just subscribe. Keep it moving. If you don't wanna watch my video, you let it play. Carry on with your life. Yeah. Bro? Simple. Danko. See you on the next one. Bye. I will Sana. This sends the style some.
Akati bandi ngundone afro fuku fuku. <laughs> okay guys, so a few days before I did this video, I put up a thing on my socials to say people can ask me anything. But then gay people didn't ask anything. <laughs> Which is fine. Um, so my friend remembered but she said she would participate. And then her question is or oh, she says it's based from watching my my other story times about snake links and things. And the question is very interesting. <laughs> She's asking, why do I catch feelings when I'm sneaky linking? Like, why do I catch feelings when I am just vibing with a person? I think it's the D, Shem. <laughs> I think it's the D when the vibe is laid right. Ia confuse. Ia confuse. Unga yaz nobu ya ngena. Nobu ya puma. Or oh, what the hell is going on? So I think he daily is bit desire. It catches your feelings. Anyway, uh, the deed was meant for married people. CTK Aba. Ma busy. In this. City Aba ma busy. Ma in the Lintando Yabo. Otherwise, yeah. So I think when it's laid right. You catch well, I catch, so uh, yeah. Thank you, gay guys, for watching. This is the last um conclusion or whatever you call it outro. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll seriously see you on my next upload. Bye.